ready? Yeah. Are we going to try Yeah. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I will open with the comment that police will not be intervening to stop the vigil that is planned by pro-Palestinian supporters on this Monday, the 7th of October. While the community sentiment surrounding the date is absolutely recognised, the organisers of the protest have complied with their legal requirements under the Public Assemblies Act. The Public Assemblies Act does not provide the Commissioner of Police any authority to prevent or not approve an assembly, vigil or protest on moral grounds. And police have no intelligence to suggest that the circumstances that have resulted in eastern states seeking a ban through the courts exists in South Australia. It is important to note that protests have been occurring frequently since October the 7th, 2023, without incident. And each of these protests have been peaceful and police have no intelligence to suggest that this activity will be any different. Police acknowledge the right to protest peacefully and assemble in South Australia. But those involved are legally obliged to act in a lawful manner and any illegal activities and violence will not be tolerated. Police were aware of the increased community sentiment surrounding the planned October 7th vigil. And I can say that planning for the protest is advanced and police will have sufficient resources in place to ensure both community safety and that the legal obligations of those that are present and participating are met. Any individual who possesses extremist material, which may include a Hezbollah flag, a Hezbollah poster, or wears clothing featuring the flag or images of the deceased leader, will be facing action by police under Section 37 of the Summary Offences Act. While the Commonwealth Criminal Code legislation is legally problematic, the state-based legislation makes it clear that an offence is committed by displaying any material that condones, supports or promotes a terrorist act. And breaches of that will be prosecuted. Any individual involved in this type of activity will be dealt with swiftly and there will be low tolerance for any breaches detected, not just during this weekend's activities, but at any time. The priority of South Australia Police is to ensure that any gathering or protest, regardless of the cause being ventilated by those involved, is conducted peacefully and that disruption to other members of the community are minimised. Similarly, any protester whose actions pose a risk to public safety or those present will be dealt with accordingly by police using any applicable powers under legislation. Thank you. How many people can the SF police expect to be there on Monday? Uh, the numbers are not known, but we will have sufficient police to uh, respond accordingly. And if the numbers do grow, we will also have a good surge capacity. Mm -hmm. So long weekends as well, there might be children there around. Will the police response change? The police response is about public safety. If, if children are present and there's a risk to public safety, um, then we obviously encourage people not to bring children where they believe they may engage in some type of activity that poses a risk to public safety. So has SA Police approved the application to hold the protest? Uh, there's no approval process. Uh, what has happened is we are satisfied the requirements under the Public Assemblies Act have been met. New South Wales police is seeking a ban through its Supreme Court. Does state law have that option available to them? There are op options under the Public Assemblies Act for the Police Commissioner, um, what's referred to in the Act as the Chief Secretary, or the council that's involved in the particular activity to lodge an objection through the courts. But that's not something state law will be seeking? No. Uh, we've looked at the requirements that exist under the Public Assemblies Act to lodge an objection and uh, we believe that threshold is not met. Um, has SA Police received any information um, to suggest compromised um, or illegal acts could be committed at the rally? Or? Well, our presence is really there to make sure that any person who participates uh, does so lawfully and absolutely does so peacefully and with respect to other people's um, considerations really. Just to clarify, since October, when you say without incident, does that mean no arrests, no reports have been made at any of these rallies? There have been previous uh, 
times where police have needed to intervene, um, but those are not significant enough to uh, cause us any greater concern than what's happened in the past with this type of activity. What is the threshold to lodge an appeal? It's obviously not distaste. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's unduly prejudicing any public interest. That's the requirements under the Act. Is SA Police aware of any sort of counter protest that might happen on the day from groups opposed to this? We are alert to the fact that there could be, uh, and again, our police presence will be sufficient to respond accordingly. Will it be heightened to what police presence there has been there in previous rallies and protests? Uh, we've got good history on how these things are conducted, um, so we'll be um, basing our numbers and our response on that history and the intelligence that we have currently. And will that be for Sunday as well as Monday? Yes, yep, there will be police response on both Sunday, um, which from our understanding is part of their scheduled activity. Uh, the Monday event is uh, again having a heightened police response. Can you give us a broader view on how many police officers will be present at the rally? No, no, we don't. It's, it's not my uh, position to divulge the numbers of police. What I can say is there will be sufficient police there to respond according to uh, the elements of community safety and, as I said, ensuring that those present uh, comply with their lawful obligations. You mentioned that the police will crack down on any extremist material. You mentioned um, Hezbollah specifically there. Does that extend to pro Hamas material? Uh, I'm not sure on your question. Like, yeah, sure. Just wondering, you may have covered it before I got here, but um, when you were talking about police action can be taken against people who, for example, raise a Hezbollah flag, what sort of police action is that? Is that fines, arrests? What? Oh, there's, there's a variety of options open to us. I would say to anyone that uh, if they possess that type of extremist material, they leave themselves open to arrest. The, um, the organiser of this protest has been arrested for possessing before. Um, I, I mean, do you have any comments? Or... The, the comment I would say is we acknowledge the right of people to protest. We ask that they do it lawfully they do it safely, and they do it respectfully. Thank you. Thanks, guys. If Thank you can ask about Torrensville, just quickly, sorry, um, the, um, the arson attack there, is that confirmed as part of uh, looking into it as part of Operation Eclipse? Yes, it is. Is, there a con is, is this a concerning escalation of, of violence? Uh, the, the fact that we've had another incident absolutely is concerning. It, it is being investigated as part of Operation Eclipse, and I really can't say much more than that. With, Thank you. Um, what about heightened police patrols around these smoke shops and the, these vape stores? Is that an option that might be looked into or gone ahead? Uh, there's a whole range of activities we have under the banner of both prevention and detection under Operation Eclipse. Um, and again, without divulging our operational tactics, um, absolutely there is a, an element that is looking at prevention and there's an element that's also looking at disruption and detection. So, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you.